question and answer podcast for the patient care experience internship. Here are some tips to help you along the way. One of the most important questions asked is how will I have a successful AEMT patient care experience? To begin your success, familiarize yourself with FISDAP. Get to know how to fill in a shift run report and what patient call information FISDAP actually needs. Sometimes creating a template for yourself before you start a call is really helpful. The biggest reason that students are not successful with this course is failing to submit FISDAP information within 36 hours of the ending of their shift. How many hours do I need to complete the AEMT patient care experience? There's a minimum of 150 hours needed. However, you should schedule more hours than you need in case of conflict, such as sickness, training, or unexpected time off. Aside from the hours, there are also skills that are needed to be completed in order to pass the course. Be sure to check with your instructor on what the skills are and be mindful of them as you complete your patient care experience. How will my instructor know if I made it to my shift on time? Your instructor will provide you the phone number in which you need to call from the ambulance base landline. Any calls made from your cell phone won't be accepted. One fellow student had this piece of advice. Always be sure to clock in and out. Don't forget to state how many patients you saw that day. It may be inevitable that you need to contact your mentor outside of shift hours. What is the best way to do that? Exchange phone numbers and establish a working relationship with your mentor. Keeping an open line of communication will lead to better success. Having a way to communicate with your mentor is extremely important in case you're going to be late, if you're sick, or if your mentor needs to get a hold of you. And finally, one of the most frequently asked questions is how can I get hired when I graduate? Treat this as the longest job interview you have ever had. While it may be hard, do not participate in using profanity and joining in on any inappropriate conversations. Remember, even falling asleep on shift demonstrates unprofessional behavior. Remember the keys to success are to complete your FISDAP information within 36 hours, clock in and out, complete a minimum of 150 hours in required skills, have strong communication and respect, and most importantly, save all of your documentation. We hope you enjoyed this introductory podcast to the AEMT patient care experience.